Hello everybody, this is GJ Brock here, and today I am going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server with port forwarding. Okay, so what you're going to do to start off is go to your internet browser and go to minecraft.net, click the download, um, and then click on this. Uh, I only know how to make a Minecraft server for Windows. I don't know how to make it for Apple. I'm sorry Apple users, but this is basically what I know. Okay. Oh, I have a second monitor and I'm sure you didn't see that because it went over there, but anyway. What you do is drag your Minecraft server onto your desktop. Uh, you can minimize your um, internet browser for right now. Um, what you want to do is make a new folder title it whatever you want. I'm just going to say um, I guess server for MC Minecraft and put that big boy in there open this up over here okay so what you want to do is open it click run and right now it's just preparing everything okay so this should be good all right so once you, once it says done right here just click stop and it's saving okay so this this video is made like the date it's today's date but it's made um, with Minecraft, um, yeah, 1.4.7, but if there's, if the title says something different, that means the same exact way that I'm showing you how to make this video still works for newer versions, say, if, if and when Minecraft 1.5 comes out or something like that. Or something even later on but if it does change then I'll probably delete the video unless you have an older version of Minecraft I might keep it up but anyway so you have your um, thing here right so this um, you may or may not already know how to like what to do with this but if you don't I'm gonna show you right now Um, click on your server make sure you open it like the server properties file make sure you open it with um. Uh, note, notepad, yeah, notepad, right, yeah, over here. So, here I'll make the font bigger, just for video purposes. Um, uh, I, I honestly, um, oh, derp. Move to 20. Okay, so it was, it was 12. I'll move it back in a minute. But I'll generator settings here. Um, just do that blank. Allow another true, unless you don't want another little name, world. What that means is this folder right here, um, that's what the name will be. So if you change that, then you have to make sure that you have to change your folder to whatever you change it to. It's just for. In case you like download a map that you want to put on your server online, then you can just put um, change the name of the of this right here to whatever the file says, and then that would work. It has to be like this case sensitive and everything, but yeah. Now query keep it false. A flight. Um, if you want flying in your world, you can go ahead. You can turn that to true, but I'm gonna keep that false. So report two five five six five. Remember to keep that that okay. Level type default false seed. You can just put whatever if you have any favorite seeds. Just put that in. I like my seeds pretty random, so I'm gonna keep that fall or blank. Keep server IP blank. Make sure you keep that blank because it's usually screwed up. Max build height. Um, I, I recommend just keeping it like this because. Sometimes it may go wrong or something. I, I usually just keep it at what it says. Spawn NPCs, true, because I like NPCs. Whitelist, I keep it to false, because 
I mean, if you if you want only your friends to join and somehow somebody gets hold of your server, I recommend turning that back, to, turning it to true, and then only having the people you want on the server on the whitelist list. So, like, so then you put that to true. Spawn animals true. Snooper, I keep that true. Hardcore, false. I don't really like hardcore. It's too hardcore. Hmm. Texture pack. Um, I haven't really um researched into that. I mean, I'm sure you would just put like some link or maybe or something onto it. I don't. I'm not exactly sure how to use that. I usually keep it false because people just can use whatever texture pack they really want. It's just like the mandatory texture pack, which if it's blank, it's probably default. But it's none, I guess. Like, I don't know. Online mode, true. Um, PvP, if you don't want to, your friends hurting you, you don't want to hurt your friends, keep that as a false. Alright, difficulty is 0 is peaceful, 1 is easy, 2 is medium, and 3 is hard. So, game mode is uh, 0 is survival, 1 is, um, 1 is creative, um, max players. I like to keep that lower than 10, so I'm going to put that at 5. Because if you have too many people on your server and you don't have a good enough com computer or that you're using your computer while the server is up, it's probably going to lag your system. Unless it's like super, super good. Um, spawn monsters. I don't like playing with monsters, so I'll keep that true. Generate structures. True. View distance 10. That's also a thing with your computer. Depends on how decent of it is or how good it is. Like if it's as a bunch of it has a good graphics card and processor and stuff like that then you can keep you can put it higher but I like to keep it at 8 because I, I don't like my computer um, lagging up whenever I'm doing something so um, what I, it's this is the little um, thing underneath the the server name if you have it um, saved instead of not just direct connect but saved as a, as a server I'm just going to keep put it as subscribe. So that that's basically it. Um then file and just save it. So then you can close that. You're not going to be needing this um right now. Um Yeah, so you can just close that. Get sure you have this still. Okay. So now you're only gonna go. You're you, have to, you yeah. You have to go to um, click C, or type in CMD in your your start thing, and then my name is Greg. Hi. Um. You click in. Um. Your you type in. Um. Um. Oh, IP config like just like that and click out oh, oh I think it's slash IP config no just maybe just no space IP config yeah no space just IP config yeah I'll make sure I put a bunch of this stuff in the description in case you get lost cuz I sometimes do but whoa nothing done there okay so <clears throat> that's don't have to worry about that. Do, do, do. All right. So you you'll eventually come down right here. What you want to do is scroll up to your IP4 address or IPv4 address. Um, I'll make sure. Or is it? No, you don't want. You know, not not so much. You want Just go up to the very top, Ethernet or Wi-Fi, whatever. I'm using Ethernet. Go to your IP4 address right here, IPv4, and right there. So you're going to want to write that down, or you can just have it open over here and have it like this. So then you can type this in to your um, internet browser right into the um, this thing right up here, the, the, the type in bar. I don't know exactly what it's called. So you uh, had zero nine two or one nine two, yeah. Um, well, yeah, it's the, or the default gateway. Wait. Yeah, I think it's. 
you type in your default gateway and then you click enter and this right here is um, the server stuff um, you gotta you gotta know what your server stuff is like your username and password um, it's usually just admin and admin or admin and password and then you can just click login that's mostly its default unless you have it changed I can't help you with hacking that but all right once you get to here I have Cisco I mean it should be basically the same exact thing if you have Cisco you're in luck cuz this is how to make um, this type of a cert or this port forwarding anyway the link is e whatever and go to your applications and gaming thing okay so what you have here is um your bunch of ports you got your um you, you put it to single port forwarding and um, you can open back your server for Minecraft. Open again. Click on your server. I should probably like, move this, make this smaller because it's kind of getting annoying. Um, font. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can see it. If you can't, then probably just put it up to or make this video HD by clicking somewhere down here. Um, um, down there in the YouTube section of the video like in the YouTube part okay so see where it says the server port you gotta have that 25565 because that's default so just remember that 25565 so you it's for this type of port forwarding you have it um, you just type in name or name I'm just gonna change it to minecraft right that should be good and then 25565 and then 25565 and protocol just keep that to both because it's pretty good um, and now back to your this thing so oh, okay so you see where the IP4V address is right here the the last digit right here the last or 132 that's pretty important because you would put that into right here 132 and then that should be basically it and then you click enabled and then you just click save settings so I'm gonna save the settings and Minecraft is now saved um, so that's basically port forwarding right there it's pretty pretty simple um, I don't know why people think it why people don't port forward and use Hamachi because, I mean, I guess if they don't want to port forward or something, I don't really know. But you can close down your browser now, and you can close down this. Now s click on your server for Minecraft again, and then click on this. Click on. Um, you should prepare. Okay, so it's done. So what you do is click or type in stop okay so then um yeah so then that, that's good so define your IP for other people to use you would open up your internet what, what's open oh my videos okay um you go to ipchicken.com I'll put that in the um, description and once you get there it will be this little IP thing up here or big IP thing that tells you your external IP you're gonna wanna copy and paste it and save it places so you don't remember or don't forget it so that's that's it um, I'm not going to show you mine because then you can be able to access my servers and I mean I may may put it in the description but right now I don't want a bunch of people random going on my server right now so what we have so after you've gotten your uh, IP you gotta open up your or I guess turn on your server keep that up I guess you can X out of this it's fine for that so you can just minimize that open up your Minecraft Okay, um, for my 
computer I uh, for this recording device I think I have to have it in small screen only or else it would screw up so log in um, alright so I'm gonna make it a little bigger so that text is bigger but I have my server preset onto here so I'm probably gonna blur it out so you can't see my IP yeah it's right it's right here um, so I'm gonna um, oh, this the IP is gonna be blurted out but here it is right here my server um, subscribe so you remember that I made over here so then you just click on that and here you go so um, and if like you want to be op, like if you want to op yourself, you just go over to your thing. Oh, I got a lag because I just started, but um, and I'm also recording. But you can go over to your thing. This is where you can type in commands without going into your folders and everything. Slash op, TJ Brock 1998. Enter, and I am now op. So which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, I hope. This really helped you guys. Um, please like this video if it did. Um, it will help greatly. If you have any questions, like if I skipped over something that I might have, because I have ADHD and I just might have. But um, if I have, please leave a comment. And if it happens to a couple of you, thumbs it up. I mean, I, d I probably will see the comment because um, I like. Um, interacting with my viewers and stuff so if, if any questions at all um, please leave a comment like favorite this video if you want to look at it again or like if you really like it if if you really want to see more of my content and stuff and see my call of duty and minecraft and stuff like that subscribe to my channel I mean why not so thanks for watching guys peace off